What is a liberal doing when he holds his hands tightly over his ears? He's trying to hold the thought. <laughs> All right, porn may be messing with your head. Men I'm talking to here now, they watch a lot of pornography, or if they do, rather they have less volume and activity in the regions of the brain linked to rewards and motivation, so says this new study that's recently been done in Germany. All kinds of studies about this stuff. You know, the study says this, it's a little bit vague. It says, I can't say if watching porn causes the decrease in brain matter and activity. However, it's not clear whether watching porn leads to brain changes or whether people born with certain brain types watch more porn. <laughs> we can't answer this question or any question based on the results of the present study, but we're going to have another study just to decide what we should study next time. So there will be another study looking for 100,000 males to watch porn daily for an obscene amount of pay. Hey, 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 you want to just messing with you, not so fast. Okay, there are inventions and all kinds of neat things that go out of the world all the time, right? And you gotta look at inventions and new technology items and you gotta weigh all of the good with all of the bad. And you know what? There is good and there is bad with every invention. That's just kind of the way it is. Measure them, okay? Spears, when spears were invented, you know, people hunted then they could eat, that was good. Bad people got spears, they killed other people, that was bad. Internet, good people did good things and they did, made discoveries and they did good business. Bad people went to child porn and a variety of other bad things on the internet. Guns, people take guns, they go out, defend the lives of their loved one, they conquer the countries that we have here in America and in Canada, we have our countries because of guns and a variety of other little stories that I could add to that. And then some bad people go out and do bad things with guns. And there's a long list of other things, not just to focus on guns again. I know I always sound like I'm going back to guns and maybe I am, but it represents freedom. You got the spears, you got the internet and cars, and there's a long, long list. So you gotta kind of measure things when you're looking at things just saying. Seattle, recently a man then uh, was, or a man there was blasted away with a shotgun. This would be a bad guy. And a good guy tackled him, took him down. He was a student. He didn't have a gun though. It's unfortunate maybe, but he did tackle him. He waited. He counted with a clip. You got to know what's in a clip. You got to have a little gun savvy. He knew that. As soon as the gun was empty, he tackled the guy and he saved the day. And I'm sure that he saved a lot of lives also. Colorado and the marijuana there that is now legal, they like it, they be in the government because they're making all kinds of dough with regards to taxes, but there is an issue because banks won't, won't even open up bank accounts for you if they don't like the nature of your business. And so the federal government, or pardon me, the state government is saying, you know what, we're going to get a bank for you people. We're gonna allow you to access basic banking services like checking and other things, and we are going to establish the world's first financial system for the pot business. We need legislation and cha-cha, but we're working on that. Oh boy, the whole country's gone to bloody pot. Y'all come back tomorrow, we're gonna have more for you from the right. See ya.